Hi everyone, you're watching Tamit Saleh's Tennis Forum. Sorry I couldn't release a video yesterday, I was feeling a little poorly. However, I'm back now and no other place to start except for that amazing match between Rafa Nadal and Daniil Medvedev. Now, that was the night before we had Dominic Thiem versus Novak Djokovic in, for me, what is a contender to become the match of the season. However, we didn't need to wait long for another classic, another three-set classic. And bearing in mind that the first five matches this year have all been straight set affairs to have two back-to-back -back quality three-set matches decided on final set tie breaks, it was really refreshing. In the first set, you know, both players pretty solid on their serve. At one point in the first set, Daniil Medvedev won 18 consecutive points on his own serve, which was pretty phenomenal. Uh, so yeah, he won the first set and you thought he's finally kick-starting his his campaign. It was the first time he led Rafa in terms of set. He did come with a negative two love head-to-head, -head, but he just felt this time it might be different. Rafa in the second set started really strongly, got that early break, and yeah, just stayed ahead. This is what the big three really do well. They just simply stay ahead. Um, and then yeah, broke again in the final game to give himself back the serve to start off the third set, something which isn't necessary, but it does come in handy. Third set, wow, Medvedev just started absolutely brilliantly. Um, yeah, he raced up double break ahead and he was 5-1 up, 30-40 match point Medvedev had and an amazing rally, very brave from Rafa the way he played that rally and yeah, he came through and as you know, the rest is history. Rafa Nadal, double breakdown, 5-1 down, he somehow clawed it back, took it to a tie break and then won the match there. I feel like this would be a very, very tough loss for Medvedev to recover from. Uh, but we'll see how he does. Funnily enough, he is still not out of this tournament, despite having lost his first two matches. One point that, for me, I feel like cost probably Medvedev the match. I'm going to roughly draw a tennis court here. Say so this is the court. This is the net here. Uh, there was a point where Medvedev was here, Rafa there. Rafa hit a shot here, which Medvedev came forward to volley. It, for me, it was a very simple down the line here. However, Medvedev simply, I don't know, went for a little drop shot, which then Rafa came back and then managed to get there. This was at 5-2 at 15-30 on Medvedev's serve. And I feel like this point here probably cost Medvedev the match. This volley was quite a simple one. As you can see, he should have just gone down the line, couldn't manage it. Rafa came back and then won the point there. I want to talk to you now is who needs what? in the last remaining round robin matches to qualify. A bit of a shock result from earlier on today. We did not expect Dominic Team to lose to Berrettini, but he has, he lost in straight sets, which leaves the group a little bit open. I'm just going to draw the table now for both groups. As you can see, this is group B on board, and the final match, as you know, between Djokovic and Federer, what a crucial match that is. Whoever wins will qualify, whoever does not win will go home. Team's loss today means that the first place in the group is still up for grabs. If Novak Djokovic simply beats Roger Federer, whether it's in two sets, three sets, then Djokovic confirms himself as first of the group. He just needs to win against Roger Federer. If Roger wins in straight sets against Novak Djokovic, he confirms his spot as number one in the group, which is quite remarkable. Having lost his opening match, he could qualify as first. This is exactly what he did last season as well. If Roger Federer wins in three sets, then he will be tied on 4-3 in terms of um, sets one. So it will come down to game difference. As you can see, team is on plus three, Roger's on zero. So as long as Roger Federer wins with a plus four uh, game difference, he will leapfrog Dominic team and win the group. So to put it simply, Djokovic simply needs the win. Any type of win, any game difference, he will clinch that first spot. Roger Federer, as long as, as he wins with a plus four game difference, if he wins in um, straight sets, then he doesn't even need that. But if he wins in three sets with a plus four, he will top the group. So that's how the group stands in group beyond Borg. Teams already qualified and he will be joined by Djokovic or Federer. I'm now going to wrap it up by looking at the other group. And finally, we have group Andre Agassi. As you can see, Tsitsipas, he has already qualified for the semi-finals on his debut, so great showing for him. Zverev currently in second place. Him and Rafa both won win each, however, his uh, sets ratio is better than Rafa's. If Zverev beats Medvedev in the final match in straight sets, 
No matter what else happens, Zverev qualifies. So all he needs is a straight set victory. Rafa Nadal to qualify, he cannot lose. Any type of loss to Tsitsipas means that he will not fix this ratio to be better than uh, Zverev's or even Daniil Medvedev. So Rafa must win. And finally, Medvedev can't drop a set. He needs to beat Alexander Zverev in straight sets to then have any chance of qualifying. Tsitsipas then would have to beat Rafa as well. So Medvedev cannot lose a set against Zverev. Zverev with a straight set victory confirms his spot. Tsitsipas, of course, already uh, confirmed. And as long as he wins at least one set against Rafa, he will be first place. I'll be, you know, as, as these matches come on, it's all quite confusing. After each match, I will try to update you guys, even if it's not in video format, but simply a little, little message on to who needs what, who needs what games. Rafa Nadal versus Sitsipas will be the first match, followed by Zverev Medvedev. I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I tried something new with all of this. Glad to see you guys again. And yeah, please do leave a comment below. I'll always respond to most, if not all of your comments, and subscribe for future videos. Thank you very much.